Welcome to this episode of Ramadan Reminders. I'm Yusuf Estes, reminding myself and you and all of us about the beauties, the benefits, and the blessings that come from this month of Ramadan. As Muslims, we know that this is the month of blessings. It's the month of sharing. It's the month of working together for the sake of Allah. One of the things I learned when I came into Islam is about some, something that's called shura. What is shura? What is that? It means to take mutual consultation to get the opinions of others, especially those who are involved in the particular thing that you're working on, whatever your project might be. In your family, for instance, and Islam is very much about family, there are things that come up. Where should we live? How should we live? What type of job should the father have, the breadwinner? What, what type of work does he do? And how can we help each other? Because when the father comes home from work, his work's not really over yet. He still should be helping his wife around the house. And she should be helping him by encouraging him in the difficult things he does in his work. The children, oh, definitely the children need to be active. To the extent that we would like to see a, the typical family for Muslims helping each other in everything. Children serving their parents. Parents helping the children to learn, understand, to be educated. Spending time together to help the children get the right concept and attitude toward their schoolwork to spend enough time studying at home so they can increase and do better in their school activities. All of these things work together, but it starts with this mutual consultation. Let's get together, let's sit down tonight and talk about what it is we need to do tomorrow, next week, and so forth. The children should have some opportunity to express their concerns, even if they're young. Listen to what they have to say and take it to heart. Remember, Allah is guiding everybody. Allah is guiding everybody. The child may say a key word and you'd think, oh, that is a solution to a problem. Hmm. Another thing is to be in a jama'ah, to be together. This is also a big part of Islam. When Allah tells us in the Quran, وَأَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِعًا Allah is telling us in the Quran, to hold tight, all of you, jimia, all of you, hold tight to the rope of Allah and don't separate up. What is the rope of Allah, by the way? What does that mean? The rope of Allah is Islam. Islam, the way of life, the deen of submission in peace to God. Deen al-Islam, way of submitting to yourself in this life to Almighty God. And we need to be together on that our families, and our outer families, whether it's me and my dad, and my mom, me and my wife, my children, how about my cousins, aunts, uncles, we're still in this jama'ah. And what about my friends that I see every day at the masjid, aren't they also in my jama'ah? I care about them, let's work together on good things that we can do and share. And what about non-Muslims? They share in a, our life with us. We should be able to share with them too, working together to build a better family, a better community, and a better society. This is a great month to put that into effect. Well, I've reminded myself about some pretty big things, so I need to give you some time to put it all to work. I want you to come to our website. We have for these Ramadan reminders and get more information, enjoy our programs. You'll find so much over there. And let me tell you where it is. It's www.ramadanreminders.com. And then until next time, I remind myself and you about peace. Salam. Salam alaikum. <laughs>